We expect James Webb to make great discoveries. We expect that just moments ago, the James Webb telescope discovered something extraordinary that's shaking the very foundations of our cosmic understanding. This discovery is rewriting the rules of our universe as we know it. As scientists update their theories, from discovering hidden cosmic mysteries to unveiling worlds beyond imagination, the JW's latest revelation has set the scientific community ablaze with anticipation. With each observation, this cutting-edge telescope takes us back in time, unveiling secrets about the origin of the universe. What could be the identity of the massive object JWST recently detected? How will this latest revelation revolutionize our perception of the cosmos and its mysteries? December 25, 2021, marked a giant leap for humankind in space exploration. On this fateful day, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, was launched as the most sophisticated instrument for infrared cosmology and astronomy. Its advanced capabilities allow for the study of the farthest and earliest stars and galaxies in the universe. With its exceptional resolution and sensitivity, JWST has brought us a new dimension of cosmic observation. One of the major breakthroughs of the JWST is its exceptional ability to look into the past, giving us a glimpse of the first stars and the formation of early galaxies. It helps scientists make precise analyses of the atmospheres of habitable exoplanets, as well as the mysterious features of black holes scattered across the universe. Black holes are mysterious cosmic agents formed by the remains of collapsing stars. They exert gravitational forces so intense that even light cannot escape their pull. Black holes are parts of the universe where space and time are warped by an event horizon. The event horizon is called the point of no return, a region that challenges the principles of modern physics. While black holes are relatively new discoveries, the theory of relativity had hinted about their existence before they were eventually discovered. The theory suggests that sufficiently dense masses can bend spacetime to form the strange structures we call black holes today. Originally invisible, the reality of black holes is exposed by their innate gravitational effect on surrounding material. Space satellites, notably the JWST, employ different kinds of sophisticated instruments to detect the obvious traces of black hole existence. Scientists can deduce the black hole's properties and existence by observing how the nearby stars and gas behave around these entities. Specifically, they analyze the gravitational effects on nearby stars, determining whether they orbit or are expelled by the immense gravitational pull. In essence, the James Webb Space Telescope, equipped with advanced tools and outstanding features, helps us look deeper into the universe to solve problems that were once considered unresolvable. As a black hole and a star get closer, they radiate large amounts of high energy, and the galactic scene becomes very bright. However, despite their dramatic impact on surrounding matter, black holes possess a strange quality. Their dimensional measurement remains undefined as ruled by the theory of relativity. This is because the gravity of the black hole controls the fate of any object that dares to approach too close. The no-hair theory further explains the enigma of black holes. It proposes that once a black hole achieves stability following its formation, it possesses only three measurable properties. Mass, electric charge, and angular momentum. However, this simplicity masks the complexity of these cosmic agents making it hard to tell black holes apart even if they have the same physical traits. By looking at the types of black holes, we see that they are a varied family presenting distinct features. The first type of black hole is the stellar mass black hole. These are the smallest, having a weight between 1 and 100 times the masses of the sun. At the opposite end, we have the supermassive black holes weighing million or even billion times the mass of the sun. According to scientific theories, the death of massive stars in the early universe gave birth to supermassive black holes with mass beyond 1,000 suns. In the middle rank, we have intermediate black holes that somehow fall between their stellar and supermassive cousins. Also, contrary to popular belief, some black holes are relatively small, nearly appearing as small as an atom. Yes, it is difficult to imagine or believe that supermassive stars can have such a minute size and maintain such a gigantic mass, even more massive than an entire mountain. Regardless, this is the reality of things. Looking over the Milky Way now, there's a multitude of black holes spread across the universe, each having a mass equivalent to millions of solar masses. 
theoretical observations and experience have shown that large black holes tend to maintain a central position in galaxies, including our Milky Way. In the heart of the Milky Way lies Sagittarius A asterisk, a supermassive black hole with a mind-boggling mass equivalent to about 4 million suns. This makes it the biggest object in its surroundings. With more and more research on black holes, what makes these entities so attractive is their complexity, which has kept scientists occupied for decades. These mysterious structures are the laboratories for examining many theories that are deeply rooted in general relativity and the quantum domain. In addition, they've led physicists into unexplored areas of physics, putting our current understanding of the principles of the universe through a reliable validity check. Nevertheless, our knowledge of black holes gets refined with the advancement of newer methods of observation and our technological progress. However, our understanding of black holes is limited because we can't directly observe them. With stellar mass black holes reaching temperatures in the billions of Kelvin, exploration is restricted to indirect methods and theories. At the core of the intriguing nature of black holes lies the event horizon, a boundary in space-time where no information, even light, can escape. That is the fundamental feature of black holes. This feature is more than just a simple gravitationally powerful entity. It is a domain of reality that is beyond human understanding. As we approach the event horizon, the laws of physics suffer a profound shift but still offer a glimpse into the mysteries of these agents. What we know for sure is how some of these black holes are created. It's an established fact that the gravitational collapse of stars often leads to the creation of black holes. This basically occurs when an object's internal pressure fails to resist its own gravity. Scientists emphasize the importance of high-density environments for this collapse. In the current era of the universe, such densities primarily exist within stars. However, during the early post-Big Bang universe, densities were significantly higher, likely facilitating the creation of black holes. Apart from high density, black hole formation also requires the mass to be unevenly distributed to prevent the mass from becoming uniform. For primordial black holes to form in such dense environments, there must have been initial fluctuations in density, which subsequently allowed them to grow via gravity. However, gravitational collapse isn't the only way black holes are formed. High-energy collisions can also create black holes if they achieve sufficient density. But as of 2002, no such events have been detected directly or indirectly, indicated by mass imbalances in particle accelerator experiments. Of everything that is fascinating about black holes, the most intriguing is their dynamic nature. They don't have definite sizes, and they can keep growing with no limits by eating up the surrounding matter. All black holes survive by ingesting gas and dust found in space, ultimately resulting in their exponential growth. This ability is one of the main features responsible for the creation of some supermassive black holes. Additionally, this process has been proposed as one of the possible ways for the creation of intermediate black holes in globular clusters. In addition, black holes can merge with other objects like stars or even other black holes to form a giant black hole. Till today, black hole formation remains a topic of study, and with the operation of James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, we are set to uncover more in-depth details. However, there have been concerns about the possibility of a black hole hitting the Earth and destroying our planet. But thanks to unrelenting scientists, these concerns have been laid to rest. They have proven that this situation just can't happen. In fact, if we were to somehow replace the sun with a black hole of the same mass, the Earth wouldn't be sucked into the event horizon. Instead, it would rotate around the black hole in a similar way it revolved around the sun, owing to the equivalent gravitational pull. Additionally, black holes do not move through space consuming celestial bodies like stars, planets, or moons. As such, Earth as a planet would not succumb to a black hole as none are in close proximity to our solar system. Lastly, the sun cannot evolve into a black hole as it lacks the required mass to collapse inward. Back to the James Webb Telescope, this advanced equipment is not only powerful enough to observe nearby celestial objects, but it also detects entities from the distant past. The latest success is the discovery of around 400 objects in the near sphere of our solar system that were previously unknown. This discovery has sent a wave of enthusiasm through the scientific community 
signifying the telescope's profound impact on our understanding of the cosmos. It is essential to remember that Earth, stars, and galaxies are scattered in space, filling just about 5% of the universe. This plain fact strongly suggests that there are many other possibilities deep inside our universe that we do not know. As it stands, the James Webb Telescope, JWST, is a key catalyst, breaking paradigms and unlocking secrets one mystery at a time. The JWST is the gateway to a new phase in space research, letting us venture into the cosmic mysteries that lie beyond the realm of our imagination. It has not only found plenty of mysterious objects in the dark and uncharted 95% of our universe, but also revealed the mysteries of our world. Countless events have unfolded in the vastness of time, yet they remain hidden in the depths of the dark cosmos. As such, it's critical to uncover the mysteries of our universe and its underlying rules. The JWST is a time machine that allows us to revisit the cosmos right from the very first light to the formation of galaxies through time. As research continues, a stunning discovery has transformed our astronomical outlook. The telescope unveiled hundreds of ancient galaxies, getting back as early as 600 million years post-Big Bang. This groundbreaking discovery owes much to the James Webb Space Telescope Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey Program, affectionately known as JES. The JES project provides the necessary knowledge for the initial phase of star and galaxy formation. Combined with modern technology, the JWST still shapes the way we conceive and portray the immensity of the universe, uncovering the secrets locked by time and space. Through the Space Telescope, scientists spent long periods of time doing meticulous work that involved unraveling, examining, and classifying faint distant galaxies. One of the key players in this effort was Ryan Eney, a student from the University of Texas, Austin. The major focus of his research are galaxies that existed at the beginning of the universe, about 500 to 800 million years after the beginning of the Big Bang. The scientists called this era the Epoch of Reionization. From the investigation of Eni and many other scientists, it's evident that immediately after the Big Bang, the universe was enveloped in a fog of gas, making it opaque to energetic light for so many years, roughly one billion years post-Big Bang. This mist dispersed, the darkness unveiled, and consequently, cosmic transparency or reionization began. Many scientists theorized that active supermassive black holes or galaxies teeming with hot, youthful stars contributed to this transformative period. The JES program assisted Eni and his colleagues in investigating these galaxies, employing the JWST near-infrared spectrograph instrument. Their efforts were focused on identifying signatures of star formation, a quest that yielded amazing results. Remarkably, nearly every galaxy they studied exhibited unusually robust emission line signatures, which is a clear indication of recent star formation. Eni's argument is that supernova explosions of the very massive early generations of stars were the main sources of the required heat. Also, the research collected data indicating that the birth of stars in these young galaxies showcased a pattern of long cycles of intense star formation and short time spans of ionization when the activity of star birth declined significantly. Since there was a great likelihood that massive stars would exhaust their fuel rapidly and go about exploding in a supernova event, they were probably responsible for pouring energy into their surroundings, hence clouding conditions that could have existed for the gas to condense to form new stars during such quiet periods. Pushing further into the story of the birth of the universe, Jez assumes the lead role by casting the net to capture the early galaxies which existed less than 400 million years, even when the cosmos was still a very young world. The high-level principles of this study are the key to untangling the mysteries of how stars formed in the first thousands of years after the Big Bang. Even though these galaxies are many light years away, the light coming from them is modified and undergoes changes throughout its galactic journey in the expanding universe. Generally, the expansion of the universe stretches the light to longer wavelengths that appear redder in colors, a phenomenon termed redshift. Astronomers use the so-called redshift to judge the distance of galaxies, and the same effect can help identify those galaxies that formed at early stages of the universe before the advent of the JWST. Our observations were confined to a scant few dozen galaxies with a redshift exceeding eight. A redshift of eight is a period when the universe was younger than 650 million years old. However, the JES program has revolutionized our capabilities, 
enabling the detection of nearly a thousand of these exceedingly distant galaxies. When scientists seek to characterize a galaxy spectrum, conventional methods involve analyzing its brightness across many closely spaced wavelengths. However, an alternative approach involves capturing images of the galaxy through filters that selectively isolate narrow bands of colors. This method yields a handful of brightness measurements simultaneously, facilitating the estimation of distances for thousands of galaxies. The beauty of this approach lies in its efficiency, which empowers scientists to have invaluable insights into the cosmos. Through the combined efforts of programs like JEZ and cutting-edge technologies, the mysteries of space are gradually being solved, offering a unique glimpse into the early era of our universe's evolution. Meanwhile, Eni wasn't the sole academic involved in the project. Kevin Hanline from the University of Arizona, Tucson, also wielded the near-infrared spectrograph instrument to capture measurements. These measurements, termed photometric redshifts, proved instrumental in detecting over 700 galaxies that thrived when the universe was between 300 and 650 million years old. This is another revelation that reverberated throughout the global scientific community. The sheer abundance of these galaxies far exceeded earlier predictions, shaking the foundations of previous observations. Before the launch of JWST, astronomers had very little understanding of the evolution of these distant galaxies. However, the JWST has broken boundaries, offering completely new perspectives previously not revealed by the Hubble telescope. Aside from the discovery of new celestial objects and astronomical wonders, the telescope has also been used to find exoplanets and celestial bodies that may harbor signs of life. The chorus for the exploration of extraterrestrial life echoes in the midst of the world of scientists. The James Webb Space Telescope has thrown a constant stream of stunning images into the public domain since its launch. It has given an unprecedented glimpse into the atmospheric conditions of foreign celestial bodies while exploring new enigmas concealed within the Milky Way and beyond. Within these discoveries is the thrilling possibility of life on Proxima Centauri b, also known as Alpha Centauri cb, which might be the location of Earth's first extrasolar colony. This secret discovery is the kind of speculation that ignites the imagination, and this stirring event symbolizes the purpose of the JWST. Proxima Centauri b, an exoplanet nestled within the habitable zone of its red dwarf host star Proxima Centauri, holds much importance in the scientific community. Proxima Centauri happens to be the nearest star to our Sun and is part of the expansive Alpha Centauri triple star system positioned remarkably close to our solar system. Proxima Centauri b has garnered attention as a potential Earth-like world. This exoplanet completes its orbit around its parent star at a distance of approximately 7.5 million kilometers, with an orbital period spanning roughly 11.2 Earth days. With its mass exceeding that of Earth by at least 1.07 times and a slightly larger radius, Proxima Centauri b presents intriguing parallels to our own planet. Despite the JWST revelation of its placement within the habitable zone, confirmation of its atmosphere remains elusive. This uncertainty stems from Proxima Centauri's nature as a flare star, emitting intense electromagnetic radiation capable of stripping away planetary atmospheres. The quest to resolve this uncertainty persists, with hopes pinned on future observations. Proxima Centauri b is a fascinating exoplanet, much closer to its star than Earth is to the Sun. However, we don't know how old it is yet, which is crucial for understanding its history. Scientists are using computer simulations to learn more about how Proxima Centauri b formed. Their research has revealed a lot about Proxima Centauri b, like how heat is generated inside the planet and how it rotates. Despite being similar to Earth, it likely formed under different conditions, with less water and more powerful impact events. Plans are already in motion to send probes to explore Proxima Centauri b through projects like Breakthrough Starshot. These efforts could help us find signs of life on this intriguing exoplanet. As we continue to explore and make new discoveries, Proxima Centauri b holds exciting possibilities for finding alien life. We can't wait to see what scientists uncover in the future.